It is currently November 22nd. I ordered Turkestrone from Gorilla Mind a few weeks ago and I got it in the mail a couple days ago. So I thought I will start the cycle. So I only ordered two bottles. So if I do the recommended of six capsules a day, then I'll go through it in like 20 days. So I'm gonna try four capsules a day. That will last me about a month. Okay, hopefully you guys can see me all right. We got the Turk bottle here. If we open it up, we just got this thing on top. We will peel it off. There we go. And inside we got cotton to kind of keep them all together. And then, oh, these are, these are big pills. This is what the pill looks like. So better look at these pills. This is what we're working with. Oh, okay, so we got my four pills right here. And then we got a glass of water. So I guess I'll just try this for the first time. I'm realizing now I should have not stuck them all in my mouth at once. <sighs> Perfect. I've officially lost my natural steroid natty status. All right. First bottle is basically up. And it's currently December 10th right now. So I'm pretty sure these two bottles will last me over a month. Only two left. It's currently January 3rd. I started this around late middle-ish of November. My bad, it was actually January 4th today. Here's to the Turk cycle. What's up guys? I have no idea if I'm putting this at the beginning of the video or after like the intro part that I filmed like a long time ago. But yeah, basically in this video, I am going to be, or I already have ran a Turk cycle. If you guys don't know what Turkesterone is, it's basically like a natural steroid. That's the way a lot of people put it. It's very comparable to like ectesterones and Turk in the name Turkesterone is something you get from plants. So somehow people figured out that you can utilize Turk from plants and then put it in pill versions. So in this video, I'm gonna be going over everything I thought through the cycle, if it improved my physique, if it improved my strength, if it didn't do anything at all, if it was a complete waste of money and time. So my camera battery is gonna die, so I'm gonna switch that up real quick. Here is a better look at the bottle if you guys want to see it. So I picked this up from GorillaMind.com, Derek's supplement website. I don't know how I got my hands on these since they're always sold out, but I am lucky I did. 500 milligrams, 60 capsules in each bottle. Basically, you would think every capsule is 500 milligrams, but it's actually like 10 times less or something like that. So every capsule is about 50. And I don't remember the reasoning on why that is. It's pretty typical for people to take about six capsules a day. If I were to take six capsules a day, this only would have lasted me 20 days. So I played it safe and I took four capsules a day, which gave me a month's supply. I must have not been very consistent on taking four capsules a day because I started this cycle on November 22nd, I think it was and ended it on January 4th. Nonetheless, I'm going to get into what I noticed on this cycle in terms of changes on my physique. I didn't really notice anything. Going into the cycle, I didn't expect to notice anything at all because for some people it works very good, for some people it works mediocre, for some people it does not work at all. It really depends on your genetics and how you respond to this type of stuff. I'm gonna just go pull up some of my lifts here to see how those improved. I'm gonna be showing you guys how my strength improved using bench press. Keep in mind going into the cycle, I did start a pretty big bulk. I was eating about 4,000 calories, which is 1,000 over my maintenance. I also upped my protein, and those two factors right there probably also help play a role in the strength gains I've had. So I do not owe it all to Turkestrone. I don't even know if Turk did any of it. I would just assume maybe it helped a little bit. So I started off the cycle with my max bench press being 250 pounds. The thing is my max has been 250 since March. And over time, over the summer, I did a bit of a cut and it decreased. It went back down to 235 and then it's kind of slowly creeped its way back up to 250. And then it's kind of been stuck there. Close to the end of the cycle, I ended up getting 275 pounds on bench press, which is my one of my biggest goals for bench press, so I am super happy about that. My two plates AMRAP was just about five reps, I think it was, and I ended up attempting nine. By the end of the cycle, I couldn't quite get nine, but I did eight pretty easily. My 235 AMRAP went up three reps. It went from three reps to six reps, which is pretty good. My decline bench press went from 275 all the way to me attempting 315. I did not quite get 315, but I mean, I'm still bulking right now, guys, so I hope to get that very soon. So yeah, those were the bench press strength gains I had during this cycle. I am super happy with it.
considering it is a natural steroid. I still got my natty status. And I am sorry I'm filming this video pretty late. I didn't really get the time to do it and today I'm not really doing much, just some homework and that. So I thought I'd film the rest of the video and get it out there. I have no idea when I'll upload it. It's like the, it's literally two months after I started this cycle right now. Oh wow, it is actually a pretty nice day out. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. Stay tuned for more videos and let me know if this video helped you guys in any way, if you're thinking of starting a Turkestrone cycle. Yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.